Today we're gonna to be trying one of the most interesting carnivore recipes we've ever seen. And that would be carnivore mashed potatoes by Chris Cooking Nashville. And this video is sponsored by C, but more about them later. Sarah and I try all different types of recipes on this channel. In the past couple months, we've been dabbling in the carnivore space and seeing what's out there. And we started getting comments about this recipe from you guys saying that we needed to check it out. And let me tell you, I was not prepared at how weird this recipe is. I thought I had seen it all, but apparently not. I was like, what incarnation? is this recipe, we have to try it. Because Sarah and I like to call ourselves the Keto Twins Test Kitchen. And while some people might make fun of us for making bread out of meat or gnocchi out of meat, we think it's fun to try recipes and test them for all of you. But first, we're gonna talk about Seed, who's the sponsor of this video. Sarah and I have been keto since 2019, and honestly, that is the first time in our lives that we actually prioritized our health. And prioritizing our health means prioritizing our gut health, and that's where Seed comes in. Sarah and I have been taking Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic for about four months now, and we feel great. DSO-1 is formulated with 24 strains of bacteria that support your gut, skin, and heart health. And all 24 of these strains have been clinically or scientifically studied. And if you didn't know, the journey for these bacteria is typically a hostile one because you have tons of acid and bile salts in your stomach. But because of Seed's Viacap capsule in capsule design, it protects the bacteria inside, allowing it to actually reach your colon alive. It comes with a beautiful glass storage container that you can keep at home. It doesn't need to be refrigerated and a travel vial so that you can keep it on the go. So click the link in our description and use code Keto Twins for 20% off your first month of Seed's DSO1 Daily Symbiotic Plus free shipping. Thanks so much to see for sponsoring a video on our channel. We love your product. Let's get back to the carnivore mashed potatoes. We're going to be leaving a link to Chris's video in the description below. Please go visit his video to get all the measurements for this recipe. We're just going to be trying it out and having some fun today, but please support the original creator. So for his carnivore mashed potatoes, you're going to be needing butter, egg whites, a lot of them, buy a carton, salt, garlic powder, cream cheese, fresh mozzarella, not the shredded kind, it has to be fresh. Parmesan cheese, sour cream, this is where it gets weird, toasted beef gelatin, which is just beef gelatin powder that you've toasted on a pan. Sarah and I have been toasting this for the last 20 minutes. Uh, finally, we just turned up the heat. I'll let Sarah get a close up on that. We were waiting quite some time. We just had to start the video at some point because we wanted to toast the gelatin beforehand. You will be needing regular beef gelatin that's not toasted, white pepper, which we don't have. We might just use black pepper, egg white powder, and heavy cream. This recipe was a whirlwind to watch because I couldn't believe what it was. And it is like a thousand egg whites that is somehow made into mashed potatoes. I was sitting on the couch watching it and my mouth was like, my mind thinks, how do people come up with this stuff? Really? It's just amazing, like the ingenuity in this space. I absolutely love it. If you guys see any recipes that you guys want us to try, please comment below because we just love testing these types of recipes. Our beef gelatin is toasted. It looks a different color than it was before. We've been cooking it for about 20 minutes and it's not changing color anymore, so I think it's done. So you must be asking, what is a carnivore mashed potato made out of? And I did feel slightly personally attacked when he called out cauliflower mash because I love cauliflower mash. Cauliflower was 2020 to 2022's keto-friendly food. And I think for 2023, egg whites are the new keto carnivore superfood. These mashed potatoes are actually made of egg whites. And in the past, Sarah and I have made many recipes out of egg whites on our channel, including pizza crust, bread, and other things. We're excited to see if this is gonna taste anything like mashed potatoes. So the first step is going to be to get a pan on medium low heat and to melt a stick of butter. When that's mostly melted, we're going to add in an entire carton. This is 32 ounces of cage-free liquid egg whites. And then we're gonna turn this into mashed potatoes. So the instructions say to add in our salt and our garlic powder at this step. The garlic powder is optional, but I think that you should always be adding garlic powder to mashed potatoes, so. To everything, right. really. So this is the longest step of the process, I think. He did say that there are specifics about making sure that you get a lot of the moisture out of there. It's gonna start to form into a solid egg white butter mixture. And then you're gonna start like mixing it up and tossing it and cutting it. And so it gets into smaller egg white pieces. And then we're gonna start to move around the egg whites to try to get a lot of that moisture out of there. That smells eggy. Apparently it won't taste like that though. 
We tried an egg pudding recipe that was uh, by Maria Emmerich in a video a long time ago. That was one of the first forays that we ever took into the egg lifestyle. And honestly, it was pretty good. I did not know it was eggs in there. He mentioned in his video that the egg whites inside that moisture, that's where you're gonna get that egg white taste from. So when you eliminate the moisture, you eliminate the taste. And the same is true when you cook cauliflower rice using the dry cook method. The water that's inside the cauliflower holds the cauliflower taste. So there's some intricacies in this video. Um, he does go through and show you what you should be looking for. Right now there's still a ton of water or moisture at the bottom of the pan. So we're gonna keep stirring it gently and cooking out all of that moisture. But definitely check out his video. He's the one that created this recipe. Okay, so our eggs are prepared, I guess. We really don't know. The moisture is kind of gone. They look a little bit more dry than they started off to be. So we're gonna move on to our next step, which is involving a blender. We're gonna be putting in our cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, lots of cheese, sour cream, toasted gelatin and regular gelatin, and black pepper. You're supposed to use white pepper, but we don't have any of that. After all of those ingredients are in the blender, you're going to place your hot eggs on top. So you're gonna blend it and then place the eggs no. on top? No. Oh, you haven't blended it yet. I think you want that hot egg to melt the cheese and stuff. So <laughs> we're gonna add all that to the blender, then we're gonna move on. Okay. We should uh, investigate and start Pushing it down, making sure that it's gonna incorporate. You're supposed to add heavy cream, right? I mean, if you need help blending it. At this point in Chris's recipe, he recommends that you taste it for salt. But if I taste it now, then it won't be a surprise. Emily, should I taste it now or wait? Wait, we can add salt after. I'm still feeling like it's not as smooth as I like, so I'm gonna add in a little bit more heavy cream and then we're gonna blend it some more, hopefully to get a nice creamy texture. And then we're gonna add in our egg white protein powder. What a day, what a journey that we've been on. <laughs> We're gonna plate this up. We have purchased some gravy from the store because um, I'm, we're not making gravy right now. That's like a no. He did serve his with like a lot of butter on top. That also might be good. I don't know which one you want to do. Maybe one of each. We could do but yeah, melted butter. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll do one with our store-bought cheating whatever gravy and one with a ton of melted butter on top in a well. We're gonna put a sprig of parsley on there. You need a little bit of green. Even though it's carnivore, so it's just for show. Don't eat the parsley. To garnish. We're gonna go downstairs we're gonna try it. Well, I feel our like butter well is about to burst <laughs> <laughs> so we better get to eating. I feel like you eat with your nose first so I feel like we should smell it to see how eggy it smells. Okay one two three. Actually you don't smell it at all. That's surprising because Sarah's whole house <laughs> smells like an egg. You know we cooked this like what 30 minutes ago and there's not that much smell coming off of it. All the smell is in the house floating around. Or no we're nose blind to it. So. <laughs> the gravy smells weirder than the mashed potatoes. Not looking forward to that one, but I will try it anyway. I just thought that would be a nice touch. It to looks that. legit. It looks yeah. like gravy. Let's just try it without, I guess, anything on it, right? Bon appetit. Well, I think you should dip it in butter. All right, okay. Let's just dip, dip it in, dip in, a, little, in a, little, a little butter. Get that butter in okay. there. Beep. It tastes like mashed potatoes. I'm shocked. Right? We were totally prepared to not like this. Yeah. You know what? I bet you it's the gelatin that helps it to like kind of solidify again. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It does taste like it. <laughs> Guys, we're not joking. 100% this tastes like mashed yeah. potatoes. With the butter too, I feel like the butter really lends itself to mashed potatoes. It's making it taste like that. It's really good. I'm like really trying hard mm -hmm. to taste the egg whites. Okay, with the gravy, come on. I'm like, give the gravy a go. We'll see if this really makes it taste like something. And I bet you there's better keto friendly or carnivore gravies that you, I think Chris actually has a gravy recipe on his channel. So maybe we could try that next. <laughs> it's good. This is one of the best replacements for mashed potatoes that I've had on keto. 100% this is the best. And you know what? I am a really big fan of cauliflower mash and yeah. this blows it away. Yeah, it does. I was 100% wrong about this recipe. This is genius. It's like there's like a creaminess to mm. the egg mm -hmm. that kind of really reminds me of mashed potatoes. It's phenomenal. We watched this recipe. We were a little bit intimidated because it seemed like there was a lot of places where it could go wrong and you know the moisture and not burning the egg whites and everything 
everything like that, but we got it on the first try. That means that if we could get it, so can you guys. If you guys try this recipe, let us know. Make sure to visit Chris's video because he's the creator of this recipe. We just have to say, wow, this is crazy. You might have to try a couple more of your recipes. I heard there was a carnivore brioche bun out there. That sounds good. And don't forget to click the link in our description and use code Keto Twins for 20% off your first month of seed plus free shipping. And if you guys wanna see us try other carnivore recipes, you can click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are the Keto Twins, twins signing, signing out. out. I wanna like just go like that. <laughs> it's weird.